hundred thousand facts. What's up guys, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, it is I, the one and only OP Skills, back again for another episode of Victory Gaming Network, and today I'm going to be discussing Pokemon Go and essentially just giving my thoughts on it. So this was requested by a viewer of mine, and uh, so I thought I would talk about it, you know, as promised, so let's get started. So, obviously Pokemon Go has exploded. It's a free-to-play game, so anybody can really just pick up and play it, which is awesome. Uh, and actually, not too long ago, it actually broke the stock market records as the number one most played mobile game in the north in north america so this game has just exploded it's went off the charts and you know it's actually exploded to the point that uh when they developed this game they had no idea it was going to explode this it was going to be this big so they're actually in the process of trying to get it worldwide right now that's why there's a lot of problems with the servers and stuff going because they had no idea that this was game was going to explode as big as it did so um my thoughts on it essentially are i think the uh, the concept of it is actually really good I, I like the idea of you know the whole augmented reality thing you know so it's really cool it's getting people to get out of the house to uh go walking get exercise things like that because i think the one of the big problems here at least in america is obesity and childhood obesity and I think this game is going to go a long way in helping with a lot of those problems. It's going to encourage people to get out of the house and to get off the couch, go out and do stuff, you know, with Pokemon Go, go around, catch Pokemon and stuff. So that's awesome. Also, this game has done a lot of good for a lot of different people. So, you know, it's it's gave couples, a, you know, a kind of bonding experience, something that they can do to bond. It's also done that with, you know, father, daughter, mother, son, blah, blah, vice versa gives people a reason and essentially it gives people a reason to get out of the house to do something to bond and it's also introducing people to new friends and things like that you know you're go you're walking around playing pokemon go and you're meeting all these different people which is awesome you're becoming friends you're making friends and stuff which is all it's all awesome so there's really not much to talk about essentially i mean i know i think it's a good concept i think it's an awesome idea um one thing that i do think is kind of ag frustrating with it is now since um Pokemon Go has exploded to the point where it's at, you know, Pokemon is, Pokemon's been around for a long time. Only now, only just recently with Pokemon Go is it actually ex exceed, exceeding to the point that it was at, you know, long ago. So, obviously with that territory comes a lot of people that are trash talking Pokemon Go and Pokemon players and, set, and things like that. A lot of people are making remarks about how, uh, you know, there's grown men catching fictional characters and stuff. This was something that I wanted to talk about because I think it's fucking stupid. Um, I see these people posting on, you know, social media, Twitter, Facebook, posting pictures and mimes about, you know, they think it's uh, childish for grown men to, to catch Pokemon and stuff because they're fictional. Okay, so let's, let's talk about this. So, honestly, I think that's the stupidest thing. Okay, so... This, this is something, too, that is, is kind of stupid, because almost every form of entertainment that we enjoy is fictional, okay? Almost every form of entertainment we enjoy is fictional. I don't care what it is. It, not, chances are it's fictional, okay? So just because something is fictional doesn't necessarily mean that you can't enjoy it, okay? So it's just entertainment. It's a hobby, like anything else. And the, the fact of the matter is that a lot of the people saying these types of things never even knew that much about Pokemon until Pokemon Go came out. So it just seems kind of ironic that they're trash-talking Pokemon, considering that a lot of the majority of them doing it doesn't really know much about it except for Pokemon Go. So this is really stupid, and it's also extremely rude. There's a lot of people that Pokemon Go has done a lot for them. You know, it's gotten them out of the house, it's got them to meet new people, there's a lot of people with, uh... I know someone who had, who has actually suffered from manic depression and different things like that, and he was actually there was for a while there he was actually not even willing to to leave his house. He basically lived like a hermit. He, he had all the blinds closed, you know, the window, the lights turned off. He just never left his house. And when this game came out, it actually inspired him to get out of the house and realize that the world isn't as shit as what he has been led to believe. A lot of people watch the news and stuff and they, you know, they see 
all these tragic stories and stuff and they get to the they get to thinking you know why would i want to leave the house the world is shit you know it's going it's going bonkers and shit and then they don't want to leave the house this game has done a lot for people like that especially the person you know that i was just describing this game was the sole reason almost why he got out of the house and now since he's done it he's enjoyed it more than anything this game's been a, a huge help to a lot of people and so when you have people that go out and they trash talk people playing this game it, it does nothing but make them look like an asshole that that's that's all it really does it makes them look like an asshole and the other person playing the game look like the good one it's just really stupid but as far you know that's pretty much it as far as my thoughts on Pokemon Go I mean it's, it's I think it's a good game I think it's a great concept uh, only bad thing is I haven't been able to play it because I have no Pokestops in my town as I mentioned but you know uh, I mean, I guess that's really it. You know, I think the idea of the concept is great. I think I like the uh, the whole idea of it. I like the whole augmented reality. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If so, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Definitely, please give it a thumbs up. I know it helps, a, it helps me out a whole lot. It makes my videos come up higher in the search results and so on and so forth. And uh, anyway, I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.